of you. Mike, do you agree with what Bill outlined there, that even though uh, Bob Sadi was describing all of these peaks, that actually uh, some of the big tech names could be areas of opportunity? So we do think there are probably areas of opportunity, but it's probably not coming from the tech sector right now. If you think about this recovery, COVID has been completely unique to the market. When we think about the three stages of the recovery, the lockdown trade was really the propellant of last year. And it was where there was numerous amounts of commentary about Wall Street being detached from Main Street because many of these companies benefited from the lockdown measures, such as technology and many of the underlying fangs. But that started to shift starting in November of last year when we saw the announcement from Pfizer and the vaccine rally started. That really pushed the value rally that we saw earlier this year. And now we're getting ready to start into the third leg of this rally, which is really the reopening rally. You know, we're talking about peak growth, but the idea here is that this reopening is just getting started. We just hit a major milestone with 50 percent vaccinations in the United States. And that number is only going to get better in the United States and in Europe, which is a couple months behind. So there's extremely room to run this rally, but it's probably going to come more from value in cyclical sectors than the tech trade, which is more of last year's. Eric, which camp are you in? Uh, I, I agree with uh, with my colleagues' comments on the air, and I'm on the other side of Bill Miller on the NASDAQ. We're, we're actually long, um, but, but we actually see some interesting areas of technology that are benefiting from this reopening uh, and reflationary, you know, position where we find ourselves in the in the economic cycle. So, for example, we're overweight semiconductors with a short against the Nasdaq funding that position. Think of it as being overweight old tech or cyclical tech and underweight new tech. Also, think of it as with you know us considering semiconductors as like the new copper in this in this expansion. So, there we're looking for ways to play this reflationary and and cyclical reopening where we can get away from some of the richer, um, higher value areas of markets. We're also playing traditional com commodities, by the way, as an overweight to, to take advantage of where we are in the cycle. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.